Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. You know, I said it on the first program last week, but I have to say it again. In the 15 years or so that we've been doing Christian television, yeah. I have never felt the anointing that I feel today. Mm. If you're watching, in Hebrew it says, Tiz, there's no word for. Coincidence. It's not a coincidence. Mm. Today, God is going to yes. heal not only your body, but every area of your mm. life by the word of God mm. and the blood of Jesus. Yes. Stay tuned. Your life is going to change. You are in the right place right now. Today, Larry and Tiz are going to reveal to you ancient secrets of the Bible so you can learn how to break every curse and remove every limitation off of your life. Larry and Tiz will teach you how to release the blessings and miracles of God into your life, family, business, and ministry. It's your time to walk in the fullness of God. You know, every week we try to change uh, the program so we're yeah. not just saying the same thing over and over yeah. again, but... You know, and if, and if you watch this, you know, if you're new, let me say to you that everything we teach, we feel like it is God's revelation yeah. for the moment for you. And so sometimes I have to repeat something and I need to repeat something today that we said last week. Yeah. Jesus is walking. We're talking about the power of the blood of Jesus. Yes. And and it's amazing because the word that God gave you yeah. was that we're missing the benefits. Say yes. that again a little bit. Yes, well, Psalms 103 says, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and forget not all his benefits. And I think so often, you know, we we sign up for this salvation, but all we receive is eternal life. Yeah. We don't realize all the other benefits that are in this package. And, you know, and I thought it was really exciting because God had laid this on Tiz's heart. And in our church here in, in the Dallas area, we're teaching this series right yeah. now on the blood of Jesus. And the reason is, is because God spoke to me and said, tell the people. Yeah that I didn't come just to forgive them of their sin. Now, yeah. now listen to me, because I don't want to get, I don't want anybody to say I said something I didn't say. If all Jesus did mm. was forgive us of our sin, forgive me of being a drug dealer and a drug addict 35, 36, 37 years ago, I couldn't praise him enough. Yes. But listen to what Jesus said. He said, I've come, and here's why I've come, to give you, yeah. Not someone you know, not somebody else. You know, you look at that and you say, I just, Tiz, I feel so yeah. strong that people are are not receiving yeah. the benefits yeah. of the blood of Jesus yes. because they don't understand it. Now, listen, yes. Jesus said, he's walking with Peter and Jesus says yeah. to Peter, who do men say that I am? And that's the question he's saying to you. Who do you say Jesus is? Right. And we say he's our Lord and our Savior. But we don't really realize what we're saying when we say that. Yes, he is our Lord. He is our King. And through him, we have forgiveness of sin. We're going to heaven. Yeah. But he is also your Savior. And yes. the word Savior in Hebrew doesn't just mean save us from our sin, yeah. but it means save us from our sickness and save Amen. us from our defeat and save us from yes. our poverty and all these things. And this is why... Yes. Jesus shed his blood, not just like most people yeah. say at Calvary, but he shed his blood seven different yes. times. So tis, Jesus is walking with Peter. Now listen to what this says. And he says, who do men say that I am? Because my people are destroyed. Yeah. God says my people destroy for one reason. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Yeah. So he says, who do you say that I am? Right. See, now we've gone from what does the world say? What does the church say? Right. What does Christianity say to what do you say? That's who do you right. say I am? Because the truth you know, yeah. we, oh, I feel the anointing Amen. God, will set you free. Yes. And yes. Peter says, you're the Christ. Yeah. In Hebrew, it means the anointed one who will remove right. the burden, that's our sin, and right. break the yoke. That's the curses. He died on yes. the cross to break every curse 
and through the seven places, seven places, seven places, seven places, seven places that Jesus shed his blood. Once the sin's forgiven, the curse is broken. Then when you know those seven places, it brings that blessing. You know, Larry, last week you talked a little bit about our testimony and how when you became a Christian, I mean, 36 years ago, you were bound by drugs. You were addicted to everything you could be addicted to. And yet you be, you came into the church. You got born again. You got saved. You got set free from all of those addictions. But then there was the anger that we had to get you set free from. And exactly. if we were in a in a church that didn't tell us that Jesus could set you free of those things, you would have been living with that all of these years. And so Forever. often I hear... Christians who don't understand that Jesus is a deliverer, that he came to set people free. And they come and they receive salvation, but they live with that burden. They live with that yoke. People have told you, I'm still a recovering alcoholic. And we can tell them, you're not just a recovering alcoholic. You are set free and that curse has been severed forevermore. In a moment of time, and not by only understanding from me, that, but from my are, children's exactly children. Right. Not only for you, this is not only for you. Last week, that's what we talked about. We talked about bleeding in the garden, dr- sweating great drops of blood to buy back our willpower. If you haven't heard that, please get it. Today, we're going to talk about the second place that Jesus shed his blood. And that was at the whipping post. Yeah. Now, Amen. here's the exciting thing. Now, stay tuned with me because God is about to do something that is miraculous. One of the reasons we have a tallit and we put the seven drops of blood on there, and maybe we'll get to this, is because Tiz was real sick a few years ago. God said, take the tallit, cover her. Instantly miracle. Nothing Amen. was making her better. Instant miracle. Praise God. But listen to this. Jesus, listen to the whole thing so I don't throw you. The Bible says every Christian knows that by his stripes we were healed, right? We have people in our church all the time that God heals them of cancer, breast cancer, stomach cancer, um, diabetes. We see that. But listen to this. The Bible says man's tradition nullifies or cancels yeah. what the Word of God says. Yeah. There's a lot of times that our traditions, what we think the Bible says, yeah. cancels the power of what God wants to do. Right. Now, why am I saying that? Because we know that by His stripes we were healed. Yeah. When they arrested Jesus, they took Him to Pilate. Pilate condemned Him to be beaten mm. with a whip. And the Roman whip is is called a scorpion, and I don't have time to teach all that. And we hear or we teach that Jesus was beaten 39 stripes, 39. There is nowhere in the Bible that it says that. Nowhere. Now, let me explain this because, oh, man, I feel Mm. you're about to get, I mean, an instant Mm. miracle in your life. Now, listen to this. The reason it says 39 is because Paul says, I was beaten 39 with 39 stripes, I think five times. 39, the, the maximum allowed by a Jew in punishment is 40, 40. So in, in Judaism, they would never, whether it's 40 years in prison or whether, whatever it is, they would never go past the number 40 lest they become cursed. Hmm. And so they would always stop at 39 but you got to understand something is that it wasn't jews that were beating jesus it was romans and the teaching in rome was if someone was going to be crucified beat them almost to death 39 stripes as horrible as that would be would not be almost to death if you've ever seen the movie, The Passion, and we're going to show it in our church here in Dallas on Sunday, the, the s- scene of that yeah. is they didn't, they, the Roman teaching was beat him unto death. Yeah. So they would have hit 30 and gone beyond that. Hmm. Why? 
because 39, every known disease in the world yeah. is one of 39 diseases. Wow. That's we, we know that. We've been taught that. And he'll heal your body today. Yeah. He will heal you today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. But he didn't just come to heal our sickness. Yeah. He came to heal our broken Amen. hearts. He came to heal our broken spirits. The Bible yes. talks about something's been done to you and it breaks your spirit. And Amen. so when the Bible says, by his stripes, stripes. you were healed, yes. we're going to take it to healing your body physically. We're going to take it. God's going to take it today to healing your emotion, yes. healing your life, healing your family, uh, breaking these curses off of your life yes. that have come maybe recently or come generations ago. Yes. Listen to me. Amen. It is not limited. Mm. God will heal your body. Yes. We're going to pray for you before this is over and release that healing. Amen. We see the Lord God Almighty heal people Amen. of every kind of sickness all the time. Yep. But he's going to heal people's bodies. Amen. He's going to heal people's emotions. emotions he's going to yeah. heal people's broken, broken spirit. Heart. I can tis, I can feel it. I, we've got to go to a break. I can feel I know. Mm -hmm. people that are broken in their yes. spirit, broken in their mind, God healing you Amen. even as we speak. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We'll be right back. As you have discovered from the teaching today, the redeeming blood of Jesus can be applied to all areas of your life. Pastor Larry's most sought after book, Seven Places That Jesus Shed His Blood, is available today for a love gift of any size. That's right, for a limited time, you can receive the book and the matching bookmark for a love gift of any size. For your love gift today of $50 or more, we'll include along with the book, the companion audio teaching on five CDs and this distinctive seven places mezuzah to place on the doorpost of your home. This mezuzah is an exclusive design created especially for friends of Larry Huck Ministries. This authentic crown of thorns will be added to this package when you sow a love gift today of $125 or more. This unique piece is crafted in Israel and a constant reminder of Christ's sacrifice. In addition, you will receive two additional mezuzahs for your home or office. As an added blessing, Pastor Tiz is including this Names of God bracelet, allowing you to literally wrap yourself in the promises of the Lord. This full-length wool seven places to lead can be added to any of these packages today for an extra gift of $100 or more. Beautifully woven and embroidered with the seven blessings paid for by His blood. You will use this to lead each time you pray as you cover yourself with God's promises and enter the secret place of the Most High. Call now, 800-978-8546 to speak to one of our operators who will be happy to assist you with your selection. Or if you would rather, go online to LarryHuckMinistries.com to choose one of the packages available. Again, the number to call is 800-978-8546. Or go online now at LarryHuckMinistries.com. As you are hearing, Pastor Larry is expanding the outreach of the ministry to include his kids, God's kids. We need you to partner with us today to reach out to these hurting children in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and now a home for severely abused children in Israel. Your extra gift this month to help us fund these projects is badly needed. Pastor Larry is taking on these efforts by faith, and your help is so important at this critical time. We can't thank you enough for showing compassion to these children. You are truly making a difference in these precious lives. Now, let's join Pastors Larry and Tiz for more teaching. You know, we're going to talk more about the blood of Jesus, but, you know, uh, Tiz, in, in, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, I think a lot of people don't understand that God gives us, um, I, I guess we would call it in English, monuments, but they're places are of reminder, yeah, of remembrance, remember. So that when the enemy yes. comes to steal, kill, and destroy your yes. blessing, you have these things to remind you of what God has done yeah. and what God will do. Now, that, and, and that's why the scripture says he's the same yesterday, yeah. today, and forever. 
what God did for Amen. somebody else or some other place, he'll do for you. Yes. And so this is why we, we really encourage you not just to get the mm. teachings. You have to get the teachings because the truth you know yeah. will set you That's free. Right. How many Christians, you said it last program, how many of God's children yeah. suffer under these things yeah. and they don't receive so the benefits? Yeah. And so we've got these, we've got the tallit. And if you've never heard me teach on the tallit, touching the hem of his garment, mm. the woman, woman who had tried everything yes. said, if I could touch the hem Amen. of his garment, it, it's a wrong translation in English. It's the wing. Yeah. The, 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 the tallit is your personal prayer closet. Yeah. You shut the door so that the enemy can't speak to your mind. Yeah. The, the knots on the end of the tallit are the promises of God, are the word of God. The hem, which yeah. is literally the wing, is what the Messiah connects you to the, from the promises to your prayers. Yeah. This is why the woman said, if I could touch not the hem, but the wing of his garment. Why? Because Malachi said when the Messiah comes, he'll come with healing in his wing. wing. The Messiah, through his blood, will connect the promises to your prayers. Yes. This is your breakthrough day. Yes. And then we've got the bracelet. And, and Tiz, I, I didn't say this, but I've got to say it. You designed, designed this bracelet. Those. Yeah. But, you know, Larry, I, I want to mention, too, though, on this lists each of the seven places and it tells you what those signify and that's also on our mezuzah the peace restoration authority freedom healing prosperity dominion these Everything. things we put them on there to remind you every day what jesus paid for with Absolutely. his blood but then and the, the bracelet. bracelet i designed this uh a year or so ago to wrap us in the promises of god every day and it, this one lists the names of God and the names of God tell us the nature of God Absolutely. and who he wants to be in our lives. They're reminders. Reminders. Because the enemy Beautiful. is constantly bombarding Amen. us. All right, let's get into the last of this. Get these, get these. The Bible says that by his stripes, yes. you were, were healed. healed. Let me share a little bit something about, uh, about my life. Yeah is, you know, just recently my, my father passed away. This last Christmas, my father went to heaven. And, but my dad was, for most of his life, a pretty hard guy. And yeah. not much relationship with their family just because of anger and because mm -hmm. of all these things. And about seven years ago, he gave his life to the Lord. And what a miracle God did yes. for him in those last, those last years and those last yeah. days that he had peace. But because of a lot of things that happened in me, I brought those things as a Christian, as a husband, as a father, as a pastor. I brought those things with me into Christianity. And it wasn't until I began to, I understood the blood of Jesus. Yeah. I understood what he has done for yes. me. He'll not only tis heal people's bodies and, yeah. and, and, and we know he's going to do that. If you're, if you have someone that is sick or if you're sick, I feel such yes. an anointing. Excuse me for getting excited, but I'm telling you, I feel such an anointing Amen. of miracles. I'm, I, listen to me. There's somebody watching right now, mm. tis that has, has gotten, and I'm going to say this, the death report. Yeah. God's going to heal your body. I feel, I feel real strong, babe, that God, and that's why I brought up that it's not just 39 stripes. It's more than that. Yeah. Not just heal your body, but heal your broken spirit. Heal your broken spirit. Heal your broken emotions. And so that you can be the husband, the wife that yeah. you're supposed to yes. be. But listen to this. Let me tell you this. I came into the studio and I shared this last on last program because we do these programs back to back. So it's the same day. And I came in and I told folks, I said, God gave me a dream last night. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. gave me a dream. And I don't usually say that. No. And I'm going to share that dream because it has to do with finances. But finances have to do with joy. I'm going to share that. I'm breaking the curse on your on your finances, Amen. the curse off your money yes. by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. It's already been done. We're going to do that next week, the whole, ne whole next two weeks. Yeah. But God, I came in, I said, guys, we got to change the program. And now I know why you brought it up. The reason why 
we're changing the program at the end is the end of the program is as you get these gifts, it help it not only will teach you, so you know the truth, so the truth can set you free. But it, it'll help us with our children in Haiti. Mm-hmm. I got four thousand kids between Dominic, mostly in Haiti, that there is no option except to feed them and take care of them. And this Christmas, to bring them some, don't, we don't just tell them Jesus loves them. We yeah. show them Jesus loves them. We bring them a, a toy. They don't, have their, they don't have any toys, and we bring them clothes. But I just got back from Israel, and I went there for this purpose. I went there because God said, in my life, my family, my church, and, and our friends and family on television, God said there's a major breakthrough coming. There is a wave of blessing yes. coming. But I also know that right before we get blessed, he asks us, he gives us an opportunity to be a blessing. So I went to Israel, myself and Pastor Scott, we went there to pray, stayed 10 days in Jerusalem to pray, God, how do we bless Israel? Because we know we're blessing Haiti. We know we're blessing Africa. We know we're blessing the DR. But we need to remember to the Jew first. And so many times the Jewish people get left out of mission work. We went there to look at several different things. And God gave us three directions. But let me tell you about one of them. And it ties in. You said this is Mm. no coincidence. This program is about healing the brokenhearted, broken spirits. That's why... We won't get to it in the teachings why they pierced Jesus in the side because yeah. he didn't die from the crucifixion. Yeah. He died way too soon to be crucified. He died from a broken heart. Mm. I went to a school. I met these folks. Wonderful. It, folks, it is the most moving thing mm. I have ever seen in my life. You talk about kids with broken hearts and broken spirits. They brought them into the school. They brought them in the home. These are horribly, horribly abused little children, abandoned and abused in ways that is shocking. And these wonderful Jewish people have taken them in. These kids, it's the most amazing school, the amazing home. I have never seen anything. We went into one place and this little blonde girl, and she was at, and when I walked out, the man said, do you know what, where we found her? You would not believe it. They, they need help. It's the most amazing place. They need help. And I looked at him and I said, I'm going to help. I'm going to go to our people and I'm going to help. When I woke, we were, we were planning to do this in January or February, film it and then it'll be shown, you know, yes. in the spring. God said, they need help now. There are those watching. I'm going to be real honest with you. There tis they're watching right now. You need help now. That's why you're watching this program. God's going to come and heal your body. Yes. One of the other programs that we looked at is helping kids that can't get medicine with cancer. I'm not even going to get into that today. I don't have time. The other one is healing these kids with broken spirits, Mm. broken hearted, and we're going to do it. I want you to go to the phone, go to the computer. You can buy these gifts and they're going to change your lives. But I want you to do more. I know that God is, I want you to become a partner with us. And I know we don't have any graphics for this or anything. I hope, I, I just threw our whole production team into this. But I woke up this morning and God said, you tell them. I'm about to release a wave of blessing. Mm. And so I'm bringing them away to be a blessing. Yeah. When we give to Israel, we know where this is going. It will change people's yeah. lives. We're out of time, but go ahead. I know, we'll, know we'll have to edit it. Larry, I just, we did not orchestrate that. This just came together no. this morning. We had intended to do this program, this series, on the seven places Jesus shed his blood. Jesus said, the anointing is upon me to Mm. set the captives free, to repair the brokenhearted. And that brokenhearted means mashed, to heal those who are mashed Mm. and broken. And that's what our whole intention is with this series of program. And yet God put on your heart to reach out and do this. Well, is it any wonder that God would give us an opportunity to help repair the hurting and broken world, starting with these children? In Israel. And as we do that, God will heal our broken world. You know, we've gone way over, so I know they're going to have to edit some of my teaching. That's okay. 
it's best that you do this mm. than even here. You can get this and get the teaching. Yeah. But do this. These kids have been smashed. Their hearts, their, their, their spirits have been broken. And these folks are bringing them alive. Mm. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. But they need help. Yeah. Israel can't do it. They yeah. have to protect themselves. It's a place of bombs and, and gas masks and all this stuff. But listen, God says concerning Israel, I will bless yes. those who bless you. Do you, mm. do you. do you need a healing of your body, Amen. of your broken spirit? Do you have yeah. children that need that? Mm -hmm. What you sow, you'll reap. Amen. Let's pray. I know we're way over. I don't know how you're going to yes. edit this. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, I bind the spirit yes. of infirmity. Yes. I rebuke yes. sickness of all. I yes. release the power yes. of the blood of Jesus right mm. now. But Father, I break that curse of broken yes, spirit. Lord. I break that curse that holds yes, your Lord. people in bondage. Yes. And I release the breath of God yes, in Lord. Jesus' name of healing that you will be mm. every way yes, whole Lord. in Jesus' name. Thank you. We've got to go. We're way over. We're Larry and Tis Huck. Join us next week. We're going to break the curse off your finances. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. As you have discovered from the teaching today, the redeeming blood of Jesus can be applied to all areas of your life. Pastor Larry's most sought after book, Seven Places That Jesus Shed His Blood, is available today for a love gift of any size. That's right, for a limited time, you can receive the book and the matching bookmark for a love gift of any size. For your love gift today of $50 or more, we'll include along with the book, the companion audio teaching on five CDs and this distinctive seven places mezuzah to place on the doorpost of your home. This mezuzah is an exclusive design created especially for friends of Larry Huck Ministries. This authentic crown of thorns will be added to this package when you sow a love gift today of $125 or more. This unique piece is crafted in Israel and a constant reminder of Christ's sacrifice. In addition, you will receive two additional mezuzahs for your home or office. As an added blessing, Pastor Tiz is including this Names of God bracelet, allowing you to literally wrap yourself in the promises of the Lord. This full-length wool seven places to lead can be added to any of these packages today for an extra gift of $100 or more. Beautifully woven and embroidered with the seven blessings paid for by His blood. You will use this to lead each time you pray as you cover yourself with God's promises and enter the secret place of the Most High. Call now, 800-978-8546 to speak to one of our operators who will be happy to assist you with your selection. Or if you would rather, go online to LarryHuckMinistries.com to choose one of the packages available. Again, the number to call is 800-978-8546. Or go online now at LarryHuckMinistries.com. As you are hearing, Pastor Larry is expanding the outreach of the ministry to include his kids, God's kids, we need you to partner with us today to reach out to these hurting children in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and now a home for severely abused children in Israel. Your extra gift this month to help us fund these projects is badly needed. Pastor Larry is taking on these efforts by faith, and your help is so important at this critical time. We can't thank you enough for showing compassion to these children. You are truly making a difference in these precious lives. 